Good to see you, man. Better, 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 better. Just trying to get this guy to look more 3D. You working today? Huh? Game show? Yawn? People watching this thing or what? Looks like it. I think the voice is working. I think the chat's working, but I don't know. Oh, Salad Dongs! What's up? What's up, Salad Dongs? How's it, man? How's the game engine? What you been doing the last couple weeks? What's up, Eves? Hey, I saw you on Twitter today. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What's up? You doing all right? Yeah? How's school? How's the game engine? Trying to get this guy to look more 3D. You know, I always draw things like all 2D side scroller at first, and I'm all shit. I gotta do everything over. You excited about the final boss? Yeah, I'm excited about the final boss too. Um, I was actually really intimidated about doing this boss for most of the beginning of this week. I was like pretty scared. I was like, shit, it's the final boss. What if I mess him up? What if he's not as fun or epic as I imagined? You know? I was like, what if he's not as epic as I imagined? I was so scared. Oh! But really, shit. Once I got in the flow of it all, I started making him fun. I didn't even care what he looked like at first. And just kind of got the flow flowing, you know? First, first thing's the flow. And once, they're, once I'm in the flow and the momentum of game dev, shit, it just takes over and you all your fears melt away and then all of a sudden you're drawing something and you're like, look, th this looks good now. I don't know how this hell this always happens, but it always happens. I'm always like intimidated to create something, afraid of it maybe. There's some kind of creative wall and then it just all goes away once I get past a certain point. It's always, it's always gone eventually. Some kind of creative lesson I guess I've either learned or am learning. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I think that's looking a little bit more 3D for his feet there. Audio with double audio, some audio coming out of my laptop speakers, some audio coming out of my mouth, and some audio coming out of the computer's audio. It's like, oh my god, triple the audio. Just let's just take it down to double the audio. How about that? Can you guys still hear me? Let me just make sure. Sometimes that changes 
Okay, yes, we got green bars while I'm talking. I think that means you can hear me. <clears throat> all right, all right. Um, yeah, so the, t the edges of his cloak here still didn't look 3D enough to me. Like, eh, he's a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, About there, yeah. Okay, so this leg is back a little, which means this part of this cloak is gonna be back a bit more. It's going slower with the engine because of school. Uh-huh. Working on the sprite handling, cool. Setting up some similar, oh, sweet, nice. I love Coco Cities, how they handle some things. You treat sprites as pure data that then gets modified and interpreted by the engine. Uh-huh. Rather than objects in themselves. Cool. I like it. I love it. I really am into these. I really, I like how you structure things, man. And I love, oh man, and it makes me kind of want to create my own engine. I'm like, damn, it's been a minute. I, when I was a kid, I kind of created engines. There, see, that's looking a lot better with it. It looks more 3D when you kind of think about that back foot being back a little bit more. There we go. Cool. Yay. Actually, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see that in the game. Pedro, what's up? You learned a lot? That's awesome. Uh, thanks. Oh, you mean ugly in a good way. Oh. Oh, he's really high. No wonder he's looking weird in the game. I'm like, why is he... Why is he, like, jump up all of a sudden? There. Here, if I want him more down, let's do that to the image. Alright, and is he centered? No. Needs to go, like, five pixels to the right. This should be ugly and nasty. Oh my god, I saw the ugliest, nastiest image yesterday on science porn of a bacteria all close up. It was so crazy. I saved it on my phone. I'm like, I this would be a cool inspiration for a boss. <laughs> Who doesn't act weird when they're really high? <laughs> Who doesn't? I'm good, Pedro. How you doing, Pedro? Oh, show it the oh the bacteria. Let me see if I can find it. Well, it was on science porn. Shit. Let's just go look at science porn's latest tweets. So I love science porn. Holy shit. Look at this. This is all the code for them to get to the moon. Oh my god. Dude, I forgot they had to do, they had to code things like that back then. What a champ. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> Alright, come on, where's that? Where's here we go? Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so cool, right? I think I'm actually going to make this second form of this boss. Like, you know how, like, in pretty much every video game, when you fight the final boss, they'll turn into another version of themselves, but they're, like, twice as big after you, you beat him once, and then you have to beat him again or beat her or whatever. Um... I think this is going to be what this guy transforms into. Something like this. This is so crazy and ugly. I'm like, ah! And it was a funny-ass joke, too, though. 
Yeah, you signed your contract? Right on. Congrats. Congrats. See, that's awesome. So when did you uh when did you graduate again? Was it June? Come on, I gotta get rid of these pillars. You shouldn't be able to land on on these pillars like this. It's kind of weak sauce. Either that, or if he lands on him, the pillars should all just die if they're right right under him. Hmm. Let's make it so when he stomps the ground, all of the pillars get just smashed into the ground too. July third, a wild Ethan appears. What's up, Ethan? Okay, this guy's looking good, but yeah, when he stomps the pillars, all right, all right. Um, he needs to have his collision do a lot of damage, so the pillar just dies immediately, which is this is gonna be a lot. But what does a pillar have? Pillars have five point two five hit points. Let's do that in damage. Let's do five, five and a half. Okay, and he hits, um, or wait. Wait. Entity. Yes, yes, Ethan. Uh, hit points five. Can he be hit by foes? Yeah. Oh, this ought to work. All right, so he does five and a half damage. That's a lot of damage. Yes, I have seen. I have seen some of a tardigrade. They are crazy. I've seen some artist render renditions of them as well. So they, he still doesn't do it. Damn. Oh well, I think I'm just gonna keep working on the art. But anyways, what I want is for when he lands on these pillars, you know, there's gonna be a cool animation, of course. But also, I want the pillars to like, just die. Everything under him will just die right there. Oh, it's because his collision size is so small. But last time I changed it and made it bigger, he couldn't even do anything. He just died. Oh, their bodies are transparent? Whoa. Tardigrades are awesome. They're like, they can float through, they can survive in space. Okay, I gotta fix this later. I'm in art. I'm in the art zone right now, but later on, I'll make his collision size bigger and fix whatever bug it is that's causing him to not like appear when his collision size gets bigger. And that way, his collision box will be big, and when he smashes the ground, all the pillars will get hurt and stuff. Oh wait, I could just make it so his super explosion does tons of it. Nah, but then. Ah, that would make it really. <laughs> you... <laughs> yes, yes, you're right, Pedro. You're right. Yes, that's exactly what he is. I was thinking about that this morning, right? Like, what, what are these people? What are these people right here? These are the snake people. Um, they're, they're a race of people in the Songbringer universe that descended from what I'm calling the god people. So there's the god people, the snake people, and the ant people. The god people were, were the original humans. These were talking like hundreds of millions of years before before our time. So the Songbringer universe is our universe. It's like, it's uh, they. this is all taking place in the Milky Way galaxy, but this is all 13,000 years before our time right now. So we're talking about 13, well, 
15,000 years ago. So that's 13,000 BC. This is all taking place. So this history ties into our history. That's kind of how the Songbringer universe is set up or whatever. Um, but anyways, there's the God people, the original humans, and they spread throughout the galaxy. And um, this is hundreds of millions of years ago. So these people um, evolved into several different races. Um, so there's the God people spawned the, the snake people. And the snake people um, became kind of looking like snakes. And they had this dark skin and all this stuff. And then they started having multiple eyes. And they became evil and stuff like that. <clears throat> or good. So the good race of snake people became um, what we call the ant people. So the ant people and the snake people, they actually have really big brains. So this... This I'm trying to draw it in 3D. Actually, I should put in a few more black pixels right here to like show that this he has his brains are huge and they're underneath this huge like snake armor he's worn. So he found this armor right here. He found uh, he killed this snake or whatever this giant snake and built some armor out of it and somehow used his technology to make it as hard as like diamond armor or whatever. It's just crazy good armor. <clears throat> Ten points for Gryffindor. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of the backstory of this guy. Yeah, so you're right. He's the when it, So basically, the snake people eventually did genetic modifying, and that's how the drop people, the guys with the goat mask and all that, were formed. And he's kind of a combo of a snake and um, a drop. Anyways, yeah, I really, I really thought about this a lot this morning all right so he's looking a lot better let me start can making him detailing out his armor here on the other sides and stuff What's my reference image? This totally helps. Uh, thank you, reference image. Thank you for giving me some artistic reference. Cause shit, I'm not a perfect artist yet. One day, one day I'm gonna be a perfect artist. I'll be able to draw this all from my head. I keep telling myself that every and every day and so far. So far, I, this has never happened. Reference images really, really, really help. <clears throat> Ethan, that's cool, man. The, you got some likes on your remix. That's sweet. It's the Snake People song. I ain't gonna write it today. Maybe I will write it today. Shit. Can't delay writing things too long. I always take notes on my phone of like little song ideas and stuff. And uh, I got way more ideas than ever get implemented, that's for sure. Implemented. I sound like a programmer. But y'all know what I mean, right? I am a programmer. Shit. Mm -hmm. 
That's looking better. Okay, some highlights. Yeah, give me the highlights. G -g give me the highlights. Knowing which ideas to move forward and which to set aside, right? Otherwise, it's feature, feature creep time. Totally. Totally. Yes, that is. It's like part of the magic, the art of game development is choosing what to do, right? And what not to do. Shit. You have so many freaking ideas. Especially when you do like a live stream like this and everybody's giving you ideas as well as your ideas. You're like, shit, now I have like twice as many ideas. So you gotta know which ones to do, right? Or somehow decide. Is it just me or is there a huge delay on the chat today? Enko, what's up? What's up? Thank you. Thanks, Enko. Figure out your MVP, and after that, you can start adding features until you're happy. Yeah. Yeah. 11 seconds? Oh, okay. So I guess it's just me. Yeah, it's just me. All right, cool. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad you guys aren't having any kind of crazy delays and stuff. So yeah, this guy is this boss. This boss is named Metatron. Um, and so a little bit of more of his story is he's basically what we would consider Satan, right? Like we we have all these stories of who the devil is and Satan and all that. So in the Songbringer universe, this is the devil. This is this is um what eventually becomes the devil in folklore tens of thousands of years later. Um, and yeah, so his name is Metatron, which is an actual name in Hebrew angels and all that. So that's the theme behind all of Songbringer's bosses is they're all actual angel names. And so all of these were angels at one point. These were, these were like crazy powerful beings, right? And just kind of like in the Bible story, they fell from grace or whatever, but that's that's a bunch of like, you know, Bible words, right? Fell from grace. Really what happened was that these guys are just freaking evil. You know what I mean? Yeah. So <clears throat> just trying to make the, the Songbringer world really, really deep. There's going to be a lot of these little um, places where you can use your meditation skill to learn more about the world. So you go and if you use the meditate skill on this at a certain part, part of Songbringer's, the game or whatever, you get to learn more about the world and stuff like that. So for players that are really interested and that'll count, you'll get some kind of little item too for every, every one of those, uh, kind of like places that you find that, um, where you learn more about the lore, you'll get some kind of item to represent that you went that to that place and that. So for a hundred percent runner, they're just big jerks. Exactly. Exactly. There's big freaking jerks. Uh, we need some of this color around here. Freaking jerks. Trying to, like, take over the world and stuff. Yeah, no, really. Their their plot line is that they, they're trying to start a galactic war. Um, shit, I haven't even really thought why. Why are they trying to start their galactic war? Why are they like why are they why are they laying in wait on Xera? They're waiting for they're waiting for something. Oh, that's too that's too right. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. Look. 
Looking better. A plus job, Sister Mary. This guy's gonna be fun to animate. Gosh, when he hits the ground like super hard. Okay, let's see what he's looking like in the game so far. Is he 3D enough? Does he need more 3D? You guys got game audio? No game audio. What's up, Zanger? What's up, man? Can you still hear me? Okay, do we got game audio this time? Zyger, how you been? There we go. Yeah, I got audio. Yeah, nice. nice. I haven't been by in a while. Well, I've been on vacation anyway, man. Yeah, he's starting to look really good in 3D now. Good. That's awesome. Maybe a little more on the cloak, though. What you been doing, Zyger? Thanks, Eves. Cheers, man. I'm glad you like him. I'm really glad to finally be kind of breaking through on him a little bit. You know, like, I, like I was saying, I was so intimidated to make this guy because I was like, he's got to be epic enough. This is the final boss. He's got to be super epic. Shit. Throw all the epicness you got at this guy. Right? It's a lot of pressure. So I was dealing with all that pressure the, earlier this week. And then now, now it's the breakthrough moment where it's all smoothly flowing. Easy. You've been good? Started college? Whoa, yeah, that's right. Wi-Fi here is bad. Oh, man. You have no Ethernet? Damn it. Damn it all. What kind of college does not have good Internet? That's just horrible. Right? College is supposed to have great Internet, always. It's just a, it's a requirement. Seriously, you need to write them a letter. Don't stand for it, man. Students against bad Wi-Fi. Start that group right now. <laughs> Is that a little better? A little better? I'm just trying to get him to be the right 3D feeling first before I go and detail him completely. So keep checking and checking and checking. So I'll do this and I'll detail him and then I'll animate him. Yes, you should, man. Take a stand for it. You either live for something or you die for nothing. It looks like an actual snake is eating his head. Perfect. Perfect, yes. Because I'm imagining that he actually, this snake is living. And he is, well, it could be living armor. I guess it could. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, 
for, I think, I think, maybe, I had this thought earlier today, I was like, maybe he should actually, the snake is actually alive, and he's grown into it somehow. They're like a symbiotic organism. Does he have a shadow? Sweet, glad you like him. I want him to hit the right, like in the middle part of the screen. That's good. Okay, there, bam. That's about right. Yeah, he's looking really good now. Okay, good. He's about the right 3D. We're trying to figure out whether the snake head is on his head or if the snake head is his head. Yeah. Good. Awesome. I'm glad this that impression is being left because that's kind of what it's supposed to be. Right? Okay, got my reference image. Do I need this anymore? Yeah, I do. I need some of these colors. This is uh, Whoops. You don't want to meet this boss on permadeath? Sweet. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It is. This is oh man, I forgot all about permadeath mode. Gosh, I love permadeath mode. It just gives me that, that like, that permanent challenge. I've died. I've died like twice already in permadeath mode after playing like an hour. And I'm like, I always think, oh man, I made this game. I got this game. It's no problem. I made this. I know everything about this game. And then I go and die on permadeath mode. I'm like, fuck. Really? I died? This is probably a good thing. It's What's great about that is it's, I love the feeling of dying in permadeath mode because... Um, I don't know. It's you, you like let go. You're like, shit. I just played an hour. I, but I have to let go because I just died. <laughs> I can't play that again. I like that feeling because it's like nothing is permanent, you know, it reminds you, reminds you of stuff, reminds you to let go. It's kind of like the, the spirit of Burning Man. You go and you spend six months of your life creating art for Burning Man and then you go and burn it. It's incredible. I love that. I love that statement. <laughs> you don't, you don't. Death Road to Canada? Really? I am totally into games. Tell me some good games to play that right now. Not games that are coming up, but games I can actually play right now. I would love to hear them. I love pixel art, and I love 2D aesthetics. I love 2D gameplay, I mean. Oh, I've seen Death Road to Canada. So this has permadeath, huh? Uh, I wish they would render that to a back buffer. Make it true pixel art. This is, that would be sweet. But otherwise, it does. It still looks pretty good as pixel art. Very positive. Very positive. You've been playing a session a day. Let me check this out. Hyperlight Drifter is awesome. I love Hyperlight Drifter. I need to play it again. Yeah, it's a great game. It's a great game. I have my 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 things I would have done differently, you know, or whatever. If I had made, if I had designed that game, but you know, they designed it that way and 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 stuff.
Nice. Okay, so it looks good once you get used to playing it, playing that game. Cool. Whoops. Wrong color. Oh, that's too light as well. Hmm. Hmm. Don't spoil anything. I won't. I promise I won't. I promise I won't. That's why I didn't actually say anything. You know. <laughs> good. 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 I'm proud of myself because I hate. I hate it when people ruin things about video games or books or movies. Shit. And you say the littlest thing, and that kind of ruins things for people. You know, like the other day, my girlfriend told me about this. We were both watching a, a, a TV series, and um, my girlfriend, she's my fiance. Shit, my fiance told me, um, "Oh, it gets really weird at this one point." And I was like, "Damn it! Now at this one point, I'm gonna be expecting it to get really weird." You know, and what does that mean? What does weird mean? But it kind of, you know, it didn't ruin it, but it like, it definitely like cast even an expectation in my mind on what that thing should be like. So anyways, all I'm saying is I try hard not to ruin anything for anybody ever. I hate that feeling. One of my best friends growing up ruined, um, ruined the end of Tolkien's amazing Lord of the Rings series. Can you believe that? I was just a little kid, like eight. I was, well, no, not eight. I was like 11, I think, when I was reading that. Yeah. 11 years old, and my friend told me how it ended. <laughs> After reading... All, I'm a slow reader. You perfectly enjoy spoiled media? Uh, good one. Well, that's kind of cool. You have the, you have some special psychic, amazing ability where you can enjoy spoiled media. Maybe you just have a really good digestive system for your media. Like your media just goes really well with with other things you eat. Don't touch. <laughs> Uh, right? And that one, you can't even say, oh, I read the book, so I know, because it's, pfft, hasn't written the fucking book yet, or release date at least. Bastard, give us the last book, man. Give us the last books. There's two books left? I think there's two books left. Oh, no, Final Fantasy X? Ah, uh, Zilton, what's up, man? Then again, I thought it'd be rude to tell them. Oh, yeah, right. I know. I know that feeling. You don't want to be like, you don't want to be disliked. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm that dude that told my friends to stop anything. I know that feeling. I live with that feeling all the time. I'm too much of a nice guy. You started college, textured some things. It's all cool. Right on, man. How's college? Where are you going to college at? What's it like? Hmm. Meh. Meh. Alright, we need some more detailing here on the is exterior. So 
some exterior detailing. I'll go for this color. And uh, I guess I'll put in some of these. Modeling's fun. Right on, man. You modeling? What are you modeling? Ooh, I can't wait to do the black ones. Oh, I can't wait to do the black ones. Okay, so these little shadows are coming in at the bottom bits. Where it's connecting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Oh, it's drawing 50% again. Damn it. Don't draw 50% when I'm doing the real drawing. Draw it 100%, man. You modeled a can of meat in a crate? Cool. What kind of meat did you model? Oh, it's a little too dark, actually. Is it? Yeah, it kind of is. No, not yeah, too much for that, but here, oh, that's better. Brown meat? What's brown meat? It's the most delicious kind. Right, cash it? Cash it, that's such a good point. Oh my god, you bring up probably one of the best, most poignant points. Hell yes, good point. God, that's such a good point, man. Yeah, there's a couple people I know that like have you know emailed and stuff and said like, "Hey, keep up the great work with your game, but I'm not gonna watch any of your streams or play your game now or order the beta or any of that stuff because I don't want to ruin it." I'm like, you know what? That's exactly what I would do if I were waiting for this game. If I were like, you know, if, if we're in my shoes. I don't really go and follow other games too much. I don't want to ruin it. It would spoil it. You wear a blindfold. <laughs> right? Yeah. You just wear it. You watch the stream with the blindfold on. That's all. Duh. Nice, right on. Yeah, that is that is something I'm trying to keep secret mostly. I've told you know you a little bit about the backstory and all that, but I haven't told you a lot of key events that actually happened during the during the time of Songbringer, the game 
that I'm working on right now. There are there are a lot of things I have in mind that I am not ever going to say on the stream. Because I want to keep it a secret. And I'll be like, yo, check us out. Ah! I'm not even going to do it soon. I'm going to do it like last before everything else is all said and done. So that it it happens right about before release, right before the game is released. I'll like throw all this, the last little touches that'll make the story all come to life. Saving the story for last. That's all I'm saying. Okay, this needs that darker light cast on it. Alright. Like... Thanks, Hilton. Well, how am I going to find out the story? You actually have to buy the game? <laughs> uh, no, you can get your own... Don't you have enough points to get your own key? The Golden Kappa? What's the Golden Kappa? Did I just stumble in into a... Did I get trolled? Did I just get trolled? It's a little bit of this darker light. Yeah, a little more. Ah. That maybe? Nah. Oh, you already have it. Oh, oh right, right, right. Sorry. You're just speaking facetiously. Really? I didn't know Twitch did that. There's a golden kappa? Ah. Wow, I didn't know about the Golden Kappa. I never knew this. That's super cool. Super cool. That reminds me, in when I was like in sixth grade, which is like primary school, you know, for all y'all in Europe. Right, is that what you guys have? It's called primary school? It's not high school. It's not middle school. It's even before that. It's not, it's not preschool. It's not like when you're a little kid. It's like from age six to 11. That's what our, when I was in that age, my teacher, um, he was the awesomest teacher. His name was Mr. Potter. And he taught us like the raddest stuff. He showed us like, instead of showing us about physics or trying to teach us about physics, he actually threw an apple at a wall and filmed it in slow, we filmed it, watched it again in slow motion so we could see the apple exploding off the wall. Like, we dressed up as knights. We had this whole week where we would dress up as knights and ladies, and we had our own old medieval names and stuff. We did just fun stuff to teach things. And um, he had, so every day, he had, like, a, or every week, it was actually every week, he had, like, the, the soft padded chair. We all had, like, these hard chairs that hurt our asses and stuff. And there was one person in the class that got the soft, you know, the chair that had padding on it. So it was, like the golden chair and one person had that chair all week from doing good stuff or whatever and it worked really well it made me want to get the golden chair but but i wish i wonder if is there any way you actually get the gold emote the gold kappa or is it just randomly awarded i wish it was like some kind of merit harry potter <laughs> harry potter yes his name was mr potter yes 
Yes. His name, I don't, his first name wasn't Harry, but his name was Mr. Potter. What was his first name? God, how do you... When you're a kid, you don't know your teacher's first name, really. Did your teacher defeat Voldemort? <laughs> Oh my god, I, I didn't even ever draw that, that, an, like, analogy. Why not? I guess because I was living it. I never really experienced, when I, I lived it before I had ever read those books, because I grew up in the 90s and 80s. All right. Okay, so I'm messing with him a lot. I've got a lot of his details done. He's looking pretty good. I think I'm just going to start animating him now. Once I start animating him, I'm not really going to do too many more details because... Yeah, so this is my chance. So I want any more details. Let's see. Let's put him in the game. See him like that. And then we'll start making him animated. If it's all good. Who is Snake Man? I was just talking about him earlier. What's up, Kobarney? The books didn't come out, yeah. Yeah, I'm 36. Maybe the boss complete takes over the snake body in the late phase. Yes, that's what I was thinking, and I showed this picture earlier on the stream of a uh, bacteria. So, um, Zilton, this snake man, his name is Metatron. He's, um, he's, he's a snake person that's been genetically modified to be kind of like a drop. So he is actually what will become Satan in our our mythology and religions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is basically the devil here. He's He used to be a very powerful angelic being and he um, became very evil. As you can tell from kind of how he looks. God, I wish I just, I wish... I need to get rid of the, where he's landing. He keeps on landing on stuff. An awkward moment where you feel like you're the youngest class by two years, right? Yes, this is Satan, basically. In the Songbringer universe. This is the devil. And yes, he's going to transform into a bigger guy. So this is the small version of Metatron. And then he'll transform into a bigger guy. And I showed this image earlier of like kind of what I have in mind for the final version. He's, he'll be bigger, so twice as big. And he'll look kind of like this. I hope this is it. Is this it? Wait. Where is that? Yeah. So this is kind of what I'm imagining. So a guy that takes up the whole screen. So once you beat this guy, um, the screen falls away. Half the screen falls away, and then you fight him again. Just like in Final Fantasy and basically every other freaking RPG or action RPG. You always fight the final boss at least twice. And um, so you fight this guy twice. And in his first mode, he's kind of got two different phases. So he's kind of like three boss fights almost. And he can spawn the things. He's got other abilities too where he can like... This is just the very first ability where he drops down on the screen and all that. So yeah, eventually the half the screen falls away and you fight him again in his bigger form. And I'm thinking it might look like this. This... Uh, Bacteria, <laughs> or whatever this is. I think this is a bacteria. It's so cool. Yeah, and then Satan becomes Mega Satan. Exactly, exactly. So this is supposed to be Mega Satan. This is the inspiration for Mega Satan right here. In fact, I should, I should save this image because I'm talking about it so much. I remind myself of the inspiration. Okay, Um. do I want to animate him? Or detail him, his art further. Oh, this moment, it's like hanging on the edge of a cliff. You don't know whether you should keep on detailing and make the art better, or whether you should start animating and just make it all feel really awesome. Like that guy, I just wanna make it feel awesome, yeah. Start animating him, he's looking good enough, I can go back and I always end up going back anyways. Yeah. 
Sega Saturn. Where's the cell? What's up, man? How you been? Okay, so I'll check this in. I'll check this in as it is. Before I change. Oh, it does damage 5.5. That's right. Which didn't work. I'll get that working later. Sonic Boom! It's an earthworm? Really? No, is it really? It's not an earthworm? Maybe they all come together and make a party? <laughs> like what kind of party? You just working on your game too? Oh, what, what's so? What, um, tell us about your game again. Sorry, it's been a minute since we talked about it. Tell me about it. I forgot about it. Oh, those are sweet pictures of spiders and stuff taken over by, yeah. Fungi. Is it fungi? Oh, a Burning Man like party? Yeah! That's the best kind of party. Hell yeah. So they have a Burning Man party. So they have like an art, they have art cars, lots of music. Um,. Everybody's going really wild and crazy and letting loose. There's plenty of room for people to just do crazy stuff, like dance all crazy and laugh all hysterically. The cordyceps, yes. You brought it up, man. You brought it up. You have mycophobia? <sighs> yeah, cordyceps, totally. I've actually eaten those a lot, and they're it's crazy to see what they actually look like when you eat them. Okay, there's one little thing I want to do. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see how that looks in the game with that darker spots. It is overall lightness. Ah. Ah. I know I'm going to have to draw this guy twice. I always end up doing that. I draw him, and then I draw him again. What is the lightness out here? Nighttime. It's a sci fi version of Farmville. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, right. Your contract programmer. Oh, it's your first paid foray in a game dev. Good for you. Nice. Good job, Wissa So, so sci-fi Farmville. So does that mean you're like growing things in space, or how does that how does that happen? Oh, those shadows do look really good in the in the game. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Just gotta let go of this because I know I'm gonna have to draw this guy again somehow when I know when I've. Make him look better. Wait, wait, wait. One little thing I should do before I do that is try out a little shading. Because that always makes a big difference. So I'm creating a new layer. Use the tool I regularly, rarely ever use. Regularly, rarely? The brush tool. Wait, did I just undo the brush tool? Here we go. Okay, so let's get this black color. Drawing really, really, really softly. Screenshot. All right, cool. Screenshot. Electron microscope image. Oh, of a microscopic worm. 
that lives near hydrothermal vents in the ocean floor. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you. So it's a microscopic worm. Interesting. So you're right. It is a worm. Kavarni. Right? We just said that. Yeah, Kavarni. It's an earth. You said it's an earthworm, but it is an actual microscopic worm. It's called weirdables. Oh, cool. That looks fun. They got skate parks too. Skate parks. Brid rainbow bridges. Little robots. So you're, you, are you like kind of growing it? Or is it, is it like a city? Or is it like a farm? Whoa. It was an electron microscope image, huh? Wait, don't open it. Uh. Wait, yeah, I think I can open it in a browser and then come back. Yeah, that worked fine, man. Yeah. Convert your RAM to hard drive space? Ugh. Weirdables. Oh, so it's more of a colony. Nice. Right on, man. Okay, let's see what it looks like with this shading. Wait, let's add a little more shading in the bottom. Okay, shading on or shading off? Too much shading, not enough shading. Unity C Sharp backend. Oh, so, wait, C Sharp with the Java backend. Oh yeah, he looks so much better. Keep that. Let's kill all these blocks. Hope he doesn't land in the middle. There. Okay, he's landed just the right spot. It must be freaking nighttime right now. That's why it's so dark. I gotta, I gotta wait for the game to get to be daylight here. Why does it look like all this? This is kind of weird. All the lights have gone out too. Oh, all the lights went out. PFC, what's up? How you doing, PFC? Oh, shit, I died. Damn it. Oh. Wait, hopefully it saves the time of the day, though. Yeah, oh, it's the middle of the day. Okay. Good, this is the middle of the day. Should be a... Oh, it's just because then when he hits the ground enough, all these lights go out. Okay, well, let's do the top two lights. Let's do light sconces for the moment. So at least there's some light always. I'm like, why does he keep looking so dark? And I also want to check the world's um, lightness and all that. Oh, yeah, his lightness is really, really dark. Okay, let's go all the way to nine. Oh, let's just go one. And the outdoorness one. Your dream game would be a uh, SimCity 4. Oh. Yeah. You've been procrastinating a lot? How so? I think procrastination is this, is an important skill to have. It's uh I don't know. I think procrastination is a word that we apply to things and it can be either good or bad, you know, just like Shakespeare said. Um, 
about everything. Oh, about thinking. Oh my god, that totally changed everything. So much better. The lightness, the lightness was too dark. Okay, cool, and now everything's looking better. The dragons, the main guy, everything's looking better. It might be, actually, it could be a little darker, maybe. This is the, the final boss fight. Let's take the lightness down to 0.9. Yeah, but procrastinating, I think of it like the time where I just am creative and I'm letting, I'm being reflective and things like that. It's just as important to the creative process as it is actually doing stuff. You need to have that time where you're procrastinating and you're like, you're letting your thoughts form. You're letting your ideas kind of like gel a bit. And you're, you're forgetting about what you thought or your expectations for everything. You're just letting it all kind of, you know, be what it is. That's what I think about procrastinating. It's important. It's an important skill and an important activity. Do you open up an IDE and then get ready to program and then close it? I choose a lazy person to do a hard job because I'm a lazy person and will find an easy way to do it. Yeah. Bill Gates. Why do I even need this? Right, right. Ah, that looks better. Okay, so now we're at lightness point nine. Seems really good now. It's not too bright. It's not too dark anymore either. Let's try a little bit less. 0. 0.8. Let's go all the way to 0. 0.8. But maybe 0. 0.85 will end up being about a little better. I don't know. These little little touches make a big difference. You know, you're like, oh my god, the world looks so much better with just that much lightness. Okay, that's 0. 0.8. Uh, yeah, it is kind of getting just a tad too dark. Go to 0 0.85. 0 0.85. What's up, baby? Do I use any outline shaders? No, I don't like them. I, I really dislike outline shaders, and I also dislike artwork that's that has outlines already built into it. Like, um, you know, if I were to draw this guy, for example, and I were to draw him, like, you know, I draw. No, no, wait. What's going on? Why is this not drawing? Oh, it's four percent. Right? Like you draw whatever. You draw something and then you have like a little black line around it. I hate that. I really dislike that kind of art. Yeah. Like the comic booky. y uh, Sorry, I should clarify. I just I dislike it just in a pixel art context, you know. Comic books look cool this way. And like comic book art and comic book vector art also can look really cool this way. But I, well, pixel art can even look cool this way too. It's just that, I don't know, it's just not my aesthetic, really, to do outlines. What's it called? Cartoon shader and all that? Alright, PNC. Alright, man, peace out, see ya. What's up, Teak? Yo! Yeah, baked in outline stroke, exactly, yeah. It's just not my thing, really. Even though, even though this art kind of looks like that almost, but that's because I'm trying to make it look 3D. Which is exactly what outline strokes are supposed to do in cartoons and comics and all that anyways. Well, hell. 
But anyways, you know, you get what I'm saying? Just like a perfect black single pixel outline. Sometimes just kind of, I don't really like that aesthetic. Okay, it's time to animate this, guys. These look really good now. Let's check it in, and then... Time to animate. All right, so I guess I'm gonna apply this. Oh, I'll keep this original and then apply it also. Yeah. You miss me? Oh, I miss you too, man. How you been? How's the game going? Yeah, right. The 3D meshes and cartoon shader. Oh, Kovarni, cool, man. Okay, so I can go and take this original and hide it. And this is the copy Metatron. All right, so this will be him just standing there breathing. Breathing. His chest gets like poofed up a little bit. His arms go out to the sides a little bit. He gets hairs taller. Maybe this is like his whole snake armor gets a little bit like. Looks like it's tilting a little bit. Okay, that's what I'm imagining. Let's go timeline. Oh, you made another game for the last LD? Atomic Reconstruction? Cool. Atmospheric puzzle game. Sweet. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was gone for a whole week and a half. Right on. Just a little bit of polish left and that game is done. Right on, dude. Good job. Man, this is going to make it really hard to edit with all this shading actually applied. Uh. What color is this? Close to black, but not quite. It is. Holidays are great. It recharged my creative tanks. Okay, I could try this this crazy way by 3D forming everything. Never tried doing art this way yet.
Uh, uh, I think I need to animate this without the shading. This is too hard. Okay, let me just delete that. Delete these. All right, so we're going to keep that. Sounds it. Okay, now that I've got these separate layers, it should be easier without having to worry about that shading. Okay. Uh, my God, actually. Hmm. It would almost be easier to have them as his separate layers. Eh, oh, I could throw this shading on top, actually. Let's do that. And then this, I could separate into two different layers. Just make this all way easier to animate because I don't want it to be hard. I don't want it to be hard. It's a maggot? No, it's a snake. Yeah, snake. See his te see his teeth and his snake eyes and stuff. Oh yeah, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. It's pixel art. It's hard to. It's always hard to see pixel art. All right, that's a little better. Okay. 
Okay, so now shoulders up a little, arms out a little. Oh, wait a minute, did I do? Oh, there's a few pixels, damn it. These pixels need to be part of this too, damn it. Better.
Hmm. Okay, let's see how this is feeling. Uh, it's always, this is another one of those little hurdles that when you're first making a piece of art, you're like, how should I animate this? How, you know, I've, you've drawn something in pixel art, but now you got to transform it into like animated art. It's always a little hurdle. So it's only got two frames so far. I can imagine this boss having six frames or more, at least for this animation. Oh wait, I didn't even add the shading. Oops. Oh, what's this delay? What's the delay? Oops. See ya! Oh yeah, it's way too fast. It's like, hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh. Metatron. Idle visible delays 0.16. Let's put that at least 0 0.4. 5. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's subtle, but it's a good little movement. Yeah, and that can continue that on. That same little process to do um, to make him look more and more like he's breathing. Right now it's very subtle and slight, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. So um, yeah, some of the next things, this is going to be it for today's stream. Uh, some of the next things I'm going to work on are um, when he lands on the ground, I want him to smash all the pillars that are right there instantly. So just, <laughs> they're all gone right away. Um, and he's gonna have a bigger collision box area so he can smash more stuff. And um, and then I'm gonna keep on working on his animations, like that little breathing animation right there. I'll add probably four more frames and make it like really look like he's kind of breathing and moving and alive and stuff. And then I'll work on that landing animation so when he hits the ground, there's like a sweet animation where he just he goes from his normal pose or whatever into that. Um, and then yeah, and then I'll keep on working on that stuff. And then, then after probably tomorrow, I'll be working on like his, his more of his abilities. He's got other abilities and stuff that just besides smashing into the ground. So I gotta work on those kind of things. But flexion in the knees. Okay, I'll try that. I will try some flexion in the knees. Good, just a good suggestion. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's it for today's stream. Hope you all have a great night and. Um, Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time.